you must make your choices prayerfully and wisely. Our topic today, Life is About Choices, Part 2, 1 Kings 3 verse 9. Therefore, give to your servant an understanding heart to judge your people, that I may discern between good and evil. For who is able to judge this great people of yours? That was 1 Kings 3 verse 9. Choices. They are the determining factor on how your life turns out. When Solomon came to the throne as a young man, he prayed for wisdom to make the right choices in life. A renowned basketball coach once said, There is a choice you have to make in everything you do. So keep in mind that in the end, the choice you make makes you. Some of us make life harder by making bad choices. Others move through life more easily because they make good choices. The truth is, you don't always get what you want, but you always live with the consequences of your choices. Observe that, number one, your choices reveal who you really are. What we do in some great occasion will probably depend on what we already are. And what we already are will be the result of previous years of self-discipline. That number two, the higher you rise, the more difficult your choices become. King Solomon sadly chose women who turned his heart away from God. 1 Kings 11 verse 4 That number three, your choices change you for good or evil. Once you choose, you become a servant of that choice. It impacts your life and often the lives of others. So you must make your choices prayerfully and wisely. Job chapter 42 verse 5 says, In the past I knew only what others had told me, but now I have seen you with my own eyes. He had a purposeful and fulfilled experience as a result of the Holy Spirit's sense of discernment leading him to make right choices. Our meditation today is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 30 verses 19 to 20. I am now giving you the choices between life and death, between God's blessing and God's curse, and I call heaven and earth to witness the choice you make. Choose life. Love the Lord your God, obey Him and be faithful to Him. And then you and your descendants will live long in the land that he promised to give your ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For your Bible study, read Luke 8 verses 1 to 25, Genesis 9 and Psalm 6.